so yeah let's see, see this question so a lot of guys must have solved this with the laplace transform and one more thing here you cannot apply initial value theorem why so because you will be having an impulse in v naught you are having an impulse you need to find v naught value at t equals to 0 plus so initially you are having an impulse here so you cannot apply initial value theorem i hope you know the limitation of initial value theorem the limitation of initial value theorem is that you cannot have an impulse in v naught you cannot have an impulse this is the limitation right so you we can do the laplace transform as well let's let's do the La La laplace transform then i will give you the intuition that how i will solve without any equation so that intuition i will give you but let's solve with, with the laplace transform first so method one which everyone must have solved with but you cannot apply here initial value theorem that we will see why you cannot apply so what will be your v naught your v naught t will simply be ls ls is s only upon 2s parallel with 3 ohm 2s parallel with 3 ohm right 2s parallel with 3 ohm will give me 6 s upon 2s plus 3 so s plus 6 s upon 2s plus 3 right so s i can take common s if i take common so it would be 1 and 2s plus 3 will go upward 2s plus 3 will go upward and 2s plus 3 plus 6 so it would be 2s plus 9 so what you can say 2s plus 9 minus 6 divided by 2s plus 9 if you solve it what you will get and into 5 also will be there because v naught t i am calculating so i just found the transformation but i need to multiply with 5 as well because what is that laplace transform of 5 delta t that is 5 only so this will be 5 and 5 is also multiplied so what you are getting 5 1 minus 6 upon 2s plus 9 so what did you get to know here you are having an impulse that is delta t 5 delta t and uh, from here 3 by s plus 9 by 2 so your v naught t v naught t what you are getting in v naught t you are getting basically i should not have converted it here let's keep it as it is 5 and 3 i am taking common so what i am getting 5 minus 15 5 minus 15 e to the power minus 9 by 2 t 5 not 5 it would be 5 delta t because i am taking inverse laplace now i am taking inverse laplace this was your v naught s actually this was your v naught s sorry so now i am taking inverse laplace so this would be 5 delta t minus 15 e to the power minus 9 by 2 ut so at t equals to 0 plus they are asking not at t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 this will be there this will be there but at t equals to 0 plus this will not be there this will be gone at t equals to 0 plus so at t equals to 0 plus this will be gone so what will be your v naught v naught t at t equals to 0 plus at t equals to 0 plus your v naught t is minus 15 volt only well and good very easy there is no doubt about this question right but let's see the method too because i need to give you the intuition without applying laplace transform so what i would have done initially what will be what will be happening with the inductors it will be open circuited right inductors will be open circuited now we will see what happens later on but initially inductors will be open circuited because they are not having any current so initially they are open circuited this is 5 delta t ohm is there now this complete 5 delta, 5 delta t will come here because if inductor is open circuited this inductor is open circuited that means there is zero ampere current if there is zero ampere current that means this complete 5 delta t will come here so inductor is inductor which inductor one henry inductor one henry inductor is exposed to impulse voltage and i told you one thing if there is impulse voltage across the inductor if there is infinite voltage across the inductor that means it will change its current current instantaneously inductor generally does not change its current instantaneously if at t equals to 0 minus it is 0 then at t equals to 0 plus it will also be 0 but only in the case of infinite voltage or impulse voltage it will change its current instantaneously what was the case in case of a capacitor in case of capacitor if there is infinite current then it will change its voltage instantaneously and in case of inductor if there is infinite voltage then it will change its current instantaneously so this was a very basic thing which we have studied in transient analysis right and you can prove it as well the proof is already already given in the transient analysis chapter so you can go and watch there this, this this has been uploaded on youtube only so yeah so what will be the current 
what will be the current current expression for inductor that is 1 by l integration v dot dt from any time limit you can take basically so 1 by 5 ampere current basically you will develop 1 by l is 1 only and this is 5 delta t so 5 delta t and you will do the integration so you will get to know that you have developed 5 ampere current so suddenly you have developed 5 ampere current in this inductor 5 ampere current so at t equals to 0 plus what will be the circuit can you tell at t equals to 0 plus at t equals to 0 plus this will be gone say yes or no at t equals to 0 plus your voltage source will be gone at t equals to 0 plus your v in t is 0 0 volt this is 0 volt because impulse is already there at only t equals to 0 0 not at 0 0 plus this is the function of impulse this is 5 delta t at t equals to 0 plus it is not there so this has gone now this has gone right so this has gone input is gone this inductor was not having infinite voltage so it will not change its current it will drive 0 ampere current only this inductor was not having infinite voltage so it will drive 0 ampere current only so this inductor will be acting as open circuit only infinite voltage was there across this inductor now this inductor is driving 5 ampere current this inductor is driving 5 ampere current now what they are asking the value of v naught what is v naught this is your v naught this node is grounded and this is 3 ampere current 3 3 ohm sorry this is 3 ohm this node is grounded this 5 ampere current will flow through this resistance as well say yes or no because it does not have any other path at t equals to 0 plus we are having 5 ampere current in this inductor now this this current cannot flow from 2 and because 2 and will say there was no infinite voltage across me so i will hold my current so its current was 0 ampere initially so it will take 0 ampere current only so 5 ampere current will th flow through this register so 5 ampere is flowing through this register and input is already gone so if 5 ampere is flowing through this register then what is the value of v naught v naught will be simply minus 3 into 5 right this voltage drop this voltage drop will be there that will be 15 volt so minus 3 into 5 v naught will be minus 15 volt at t equals to 0 plus so that's it this is the intuition by the intuition in one second only if i had seen this circuit i would go to know okay 5 5 5 ampere current is flowing through the register it will flow 5 into 3 minus 15 that's it no these kind of things no initial values are of no final values are of if you have good intuition if you have studied deeply network analysis there will be no problem in control systems there will be no problem in analog electronics there will be no problem in signal sensing systems there will be no problem in your whole electronics and electrical subjects that's why i have given the subject freely on youtube and i have taught in that manner that forget about comparing with anyone you will not find these concept in the book books as well in any textbook you will not go, going to find okay so these kind of concept has been de delivered and if you are not watching those video it is your your loss okay it might seem harsh to you you might feel that uh, i am just uh, uh, bragging bragging it but the kind of content is there once you watch it you will realize it okay then let's see the next question